So this is your last call. Before we start the video, I do have to explain a few things. First and foremost, I will be moving or rearranging how some of these weekly videos work. A to one will no longer have an actual dedicated video. I'm just going to leave it to the last call video, which is also what I'm going to be doing with Zer as well. Zer is not going to have his own dedicated video. I'm just going to leave it for the last call video. So make sure you guys check out my last call videos i say this but my last call videos are usually the ones that pop off more than zer and the ada videos combined so that's why i'm gonna not have them anymore because it just for me it's just kind of like a wasted time because not only does it not get a lot of views at least the ada one videos don't Zer may sometimes a hit or miss but it's just a lot of bulk that i have in my channel that really doesn't do anything for my channel so i'd rather spend that time working on actual content like my fashion stuff uh we will still have the uh the weekly challenges and eververse video just because those are really good to see um although i could probably just combine everything into the last call video but i want to work uh with two weekly videos just to see how that works and if the weekly videos, specifically the challenges videos doesn't do well, then I'll probably just move it to the last call video, uh, which also means that the last call video will also be going up on Sundays now instead of Mondays, because that will give you guys an extra day to get all of the stuff that's going to be there. So that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to tell you guys. Uh, just the fact that Ada one and Zer videos are going to be just not made anymore. And I'm just going to leave it to the last call videos and the challenges videos is going to be in a kind of like a let's wait and see type of thing where if I see that it's just really not worth to keep doing the challenge and uh, Eververse videos, then I'll probably just switch it to the last call video and the last call video will literally just have everything in bulk. Uh, it'll be a fat video, but at the same time, it'll have all of the information for that week at the end, which I don't know. We'll see. But other than that, let's check out what Ada's offering. So we have the Genotype Null Zero, which is the shader from Escalation Protocol. I definitely like this shader. Uh, you guys can see the orange glow or not glow, but the orange plating is really, really cool. And it does have a like fiber, not microfiber, um, fi something fiber. I forget what it's called. Someone will, will correct me in the comments below, but definitely has that really cool texture there. We have Cairo's Bronze, which I like this one. I think it's just a blue that I'm like whatever's on, but like this looks cool so far. And then a uh, new Monarchy Diamonds, which is one of my favorite shaders in the game, just because it looks really, really cool. And it does have a textured um, shadering, so that's really cool as well. As for the armor, it's going to be these right here. So this is some of my favorite armor sets for the Titans and Hunters, not so much for the Warlocks. Hunters, I think everything but the cloak is really cool. Titans, I think everything but the mark is cool. And then Warlocks, I'm going to be honest with you guys, all of it looks like trash, except the helmet, maybe. But yeah, all of it's just, you look like a bum. That's really all it is. As for Zuri, he's in the hangar in the tower currently selling the Season of the Hunt seasonal set, which is pretty interesting. Not the ornament, just the seasonal activity stuff. I definitely think it's worth it. Some of these pieces are really, really cool. I think the Hunters have some really good pieces. I think the Titans have some, actually, let me, you, doesn't matter. You guys will still be looking at the armor. I just need to see the armor real quick for the Titans. Uh, so let's start with the hunters hunters. I think the helmet can be used. I think the arms are cool They are asymmetrical though. So just be aware of that and not the the design of it It's more so just the shoulder plates take shaders differently The chest piece can definitely be used boots I think are pretty terrible and the cloak I think a lot of people are gonna want because it doesn't have a hood uh, Titans, I think the helmet can be used the arms are pretty basic. I think the chest piece is terrible I think the boots are okay. And then the mark I think is terrible uh, Warlocks, I think the helmet can be used. The arms are kind of whack. The chest piece is interesting if you want to have a minimal dress uh, because it's literally just like two pieces in the front, if I remember correctly. Uh, boots are probably terrible, or boots are terrible. And then the bond, I think, is terrible as well. So that is pretty much it for the armor. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. But for the weapons, we have GN7 rifle, firmly planted, and rampage. We have peace of mind with auto loading, holster, and harmony. We have Blood Feud with Triple Tap and Elemental Capacitor, Timeline, Timelines Vertex with Lead from Gold and Backup Plan, Sojourner's Tail with Tunnel Vision and Frenzy, Fire and Forget with Headstone and High Impact Reserves, and then Temptation's Hook with Tireless Blade and Vorpal Weapon. The weapons that are actually craftable are going to be the Peace of Mind and the Fire and Forget. These two are, you can, you can get uh, the, 
the red border of weapons for it. I would, I don't know, I, I would definitely recommend Peace of Mind for PvP. Uh, Fire and Forget, you could probably forget, <laughs> funnily enough, just because not only isn't it aggressive, which I don't think aggressors are good anymore, but I don't even remember this actually having good rolls, but, it, but I, for those of you who want to complete it, I would still do it just be, because you might never know when they buff aggressives and it's really, really good. Um, oh, for exotics, we have Hawkmoon with moving target and then Cerberus plus one. I love this weapon. This weapon's like one of my favorites, like just exotic wise, because it is really cool. And the ornament looks fucking cool. And the uh, catalyst is actually really cool. We have Stompies with mediocre rolls. Armamentarium with, man, that 10 mobility really kills it for me. And then Phoenix Protocol with 28 resilience. Jesus Christ. That would be a 40 when you masterwork it and add another resilience to it, which is pretty nasty. And Intellect is an 18. Ooh. Oh shit. Um I'm gonna pick it up for my for my warlock for sure. Cause that's a pretty pretty good roll. Now let's see what I get. We also have to go through it reverse in a bit, but shadows. Dragon's shadow, huh? Um yeah, give me a second. Wow, so basically ones on everything. Uh, especially when I master work this because I'll have a one on recovery and when I say one I literally mean a 10 it's just ones like the where my head goes um I think I have another roll of the dragon shadow that's like this so that's pretty pretty terrible as for Eververse we're gonna be looking at shaders uh so Abyssinian gold I fucking I fuck with the shader I definitely talk a lot of shit about it but at the end of the day it's such a good black shader for cloth which is why I would recommend it just because for cloth, it is really good plate armor. You guys will see this like brown color, which is why I'm not the biggest fan of Abyssinian gold. But when it comes to like, sh like cloth, oh man, this is like the best black shader. Uh, Tyrion Abyss. I don't even remember this. Oh, it's the purple one. Yeah, I, I fuck with the shader, but at the same time, I don't. We have cannon fodder. Yeah. We have uh, Unhearing to be told for the Imperial Decree shotgun, which you can farm this now through. I'll, I'll show you guys. Actually, I can show you guys right now because why the fuck not? So it is from last season, season of uh, something. I don't remember what it's called. This one right here. So you guys can go to the war table and you guys can go to like where you would uh, get the engrams for like the weapons and whatnot. And in one of them, it says that you can get some of the weapons from Leviathan, which is where it's from. And once you get it, uh, just farm it until you get the red border, because I do think that shotgun's really good and the ornament is pretty co cool as well. You have Simon Says, which I think is terrible, like absolutely terrible. Um, Go all the way down here. We have, I can't even say that, but it's for the Wicked Implement. Um. Yeah, the exotic from last season. I got it because it looks cool and I like Vice. I think Vice is cool. We have Sunny Day Seeker, which I think I said this in my challenges slash Eververse video, but if these moved while you had the like the speed boost going, I think that would have been cool. We have Swift Persistence. Uh, Exotech Shell, which I do think looks pretty cool. And then Eerie Hands, which I still haven't bought because I'm thinking about buying this for uh, for Halloween. But it's too short. Conductor, which I think this is forever. Like, it actually goes on forever. Yep. And then we have uh, Lattice Entrance. We have uh, Dido Capsule Entrance. We have Eldritch, Eldritch Effects. And then Coleo Petra, which is a new shader from this season. I picked it up just because you might never know when it looks cool on a certain piece, but I do think it's, it's starting to grow on me just because the colors are pretty cool. Uh, Copper Brand, I think it's trash because of the yellow. Uh, Amethyst Veil, which I still haven't made that video and I probably won't because I am I'm like backlogged on so much stuff that I, making the, I don't know, it's a fast video. I mean, we'll, I'll probably try to make it by Saturday, which is tomorrow. Uh, Lilac Bombast. 
which reminds me of a joker and that is pretty much it let me know what you guys are going to be picking up uh so a few things to note like i said in the beginning the uh the 801 videos are going to be probably so i'm th i'm thinking of a few things for 801 the first thing i'm thinking of is either cutting her up into shorts so making like a shaders for ada and then an armor sets for ada or combining ada with the uh weekly challenges slash eververse videos just because once the challenges are done i would like to have something else other than just eververse that being said i would have to switch out the uh i would have to switch out the or i would have to make a new what's gonna call uh thumbnail for the weekly challenges slash eververse slash ada video if that's how i go about it if not i don't mind doing shorts on it because that would be pretty simple uh a little bit more editing on my part but i don't really care for that like it'd be super simple <sighs> my only gripe is i don't want to flood my my shorts with just ada videos which is why i'm not thinking about doing that i like my shorts being about armor and fashion i think that's where i really like my stuff to be so let me know what you guys think would you guys like to see shorts would you guys like to see me combine ada with uh the challenges and eververse videos or would you guys just like to see ada one in the last call video which that's gonna happen as well let me know in the comments below i'm still working on how i'm gonna be doing this i know zer's just gonna, gonna stop just because not only are those videos really not worth it for views and whatnot but it also since i have the last call video i don't really know why i even do it so yeah, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.